Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about some things you can do to look chic in the winter. This is part of an ongoing mini series that I have on this channel where I dive into some of the things I've learned over the years to help me feel my best in every season. Because every season comes with unique dressing challenges and I think that by understanding those and then working around them, you can look great regardless of the weather. So let's get started. For many of us, winter means cold weather and the swings within that can differ depending on where you live, obviously. I currently have a more mild winter, but I've experienced winters all over the place. So I've lived in New York and specifically in New York City where I had to deal with very, very cold winters and then extreme temperature swings and having to walk outside for most of the time. So anytime you have to go to work or run some errands, you are outside exposed to the elements. I've also dealt with more mild winters that I'm experiencing now. I've also dealt with Florida winters. I lived in Florida for quite a while. And then also New England winters. So I've got a kind of a wide range to pull on. So these tips are hopefully going to be applicable for most of those conditions and then of course you can adjust them to suit your individual weather needs. My first tip is to layer strategically. So by this I mean really being thoughtful about how warm you need to be and how much bulk you want in your overall look. So many of us when we layer our clothes come into kind of the situation where we feel a little bit blimpish and we feel over the top and almost like we stuffed ourselves into clothing and so in order to avoid that I recommend starting with very very thin under layers and hands down my number one most favorite thing for this is heat tech or kind of those like thermal pieces you can find these pretty much anywhere at a variety of prices they're very inexpensive typically and they're paper thin but they really trap the heat in so making sure that you're starting with a layer like that and something that's very close to the body so a t-shirt a long sleeve shirt and then maybe even leggings or long underwear that follows that kind of method is a really really great way to ensure that everything you then layer on top of will lay nicely, you won't have any weird bulging, and you are still going to be nice and toasty. My next tip is to really be mindful of your proportions. So when dressing in the winter, it's very easy to get lost in your clothes. I know, especially for me personally as a petite, I'm five foot three if you're new, I can get really lost and I can feel drowned in a lot of very warm, cozy, big pieces. So in order to prevent that from happening, I like to keep everything underneath very slim and I find that by playing with that proportions of big up top slim down below or wide down below and slim up top I'm able to really ensure that I'm nice and cozy without feeling lost in my clothes I personally don't like feeling like that little kid from a Christmas story when his mom puts that giant jacket on him and then he can't lower his arms and I think that by playing with those proportions I really prevent that so I'm able to stay warm but still look good and it's a beautiful sweet spot that makes getting dressed in the winter a lot easier for me. I know I get really tired of my clothes the more practical they have to become and especially as we get into full-blown winter and you live somewhere with snow and very harsh conditions it's very easy to just resort to just practicality and I think by playing with your proportions and finding things that are practical but also look good together you can kind of mediate that a little bit and feel a little bit more excited about your clothes hopefully for longer which makes getting dressed a lot easier in the winter so speaking of making the most of your winter wardrobe and really trying to embrace it rather than fight against it I really recommend you start playing around with accessories if you don't already I think winter is so fun because you can really layer things up you can really have fun with lots of different textures and colors and accessories are a beautiful way to do that especially when you have to wear a coat and most that only people see of your outfit is your accessories your jacket your hat your scarf maybe your shoes so by playing with those I think you can add interest to your outfit and allow your personal style to shine so a couple things that I really like are a great hat I think hats are so wonderful and especially in the winter they're really practical so I love fedoras and I love berets on me they really suit my style they go with the rest of my clothes and they suit my face shape and all of that if you're interested in a more in-depth guide of kind of how you can find a hat that will be flattering to you let me know and I'll add that to my video list but just play around with it that's how I found mine I went to the store literally just tried on different hats and as soon as you see yourself in the mirror and something that looks good you'll know and you'll feel ah this is so me so then that's going to be the direction you want to go 
And then of course, scarves. I love scarves. I wear them all year long. And in the winter, I love thicker scarves, things that are really cozy, things that are wool and cashmere, and things that are silk. Silk can be a really beautiful insulator. And then also, I like to make sure that they've got some color. So things that really make me feel great, because again, it's gonna be a piece that's gonna be visible. So if you have that space between your coat and your chin, Fill it with something nice, something that's gonna make you feel alive and excited to wear it. And then of course, gloves. I love gloves because they're practical, but also really beautiful. There's something so sophisticated about a great pair of gloves. And especially depending on where you live, you can really only wear them in the winter because every other time of the year, it's a little too warm still. Like I find in fall, unless it's the really tail end of fall, wearing gloves can be a little stuffy and my fingers and my hands start to sweat. But in the winter, that never happens. So I can get that elegance that gloves offer to an outfit. Probably one of the easiest ways beyond your coat to look and feel chic in the winter is to pick really cute but practical shoes. So when we are dealing with winter weather, a lot of us have snow, we've got gross weather, we've got kind of situations where we have to navigate slippery patches, and you want a pair of shoes that's not gonna let you down, something that's not gonna cause you to wipe out, and something that's not gonna leave you freezing. So I really recommend spending time finding that for yourself. And for me, that tends to equate to a pair of ankle boots or tall boots depending on how cold it is if it's really cold tall boots are always the way to go because they keep your legs nice and warm and then i also like to wear really thick tall socks with that as well because then i'm nice and insulated and then i also recommend finding something with a rubber sole specifically if you intend to wear them in the snow and then also protect them you can get some sprays to protect your shoes from kind of ugh weather and if you are going to be sludging through really aggressive snow or there's a lot of snow on the ground, I recommend not wearing your pretty shoes and instead buying a pair of snowshoes, wearing those as you commute and then changing into your pretty shoes. I recommend doing that because otherwise you could ruin your shoes. It's something that I've done very foolishly in the past and it's something that I'm still trying to fix. I have a pair of riding boots that I wore in the snow and they've got a nasty mark on them now. My next tip to look chic in the winter is to play around with color. Color is such a beautiful part of your wardrobe that you can really have fun with and cater specifically to you. So I recommend finding colors that really complement your skin tone, your eye color, and your hair color. I did a video all about this. I'll link it here for you. And once you find those colors, wear them proudly and don't neglect them in the winter. So buy a beautiful sweater in a color that lights up your face. Find a scarf in a color that does the same and then wear them proudly find that color in an overcoat and then also never underestimate the power of winter white oh i think it is so chic when you wear a white coat a white sweater and white pants if you can muster it i would avoid doing that on incredibly slushy days because then you probably will get stained but when you can i recommend fully embracing that because it brings lightness to winter and it's just always classic and beautiful on every single person and my last tip is a little bit of a cheat but that is to embrace it there are so many good things that come with winter that i recommend focusing on those rather than the fact that winter lasts forever and you just want it to end so i really try to focus on the fact that i can wear all of my beautiful sweaters my heavier jackets and i can layer up and have fun doing so i also try to focus on the fact that when it is cold outside we get a natural de-puffing <laughs> to our face so our faces tend to look a little bit more lively and also our lips can look fuller because of the cold there's just a lot of bonuses that come with kind of unpleasant weather otherwise so really just finding ways to embrace it and really taking advantage of cozy days at home and really taking advantage of all of the pieces you're not going to be able to wear in a couple months i find really makes it a lot more enjoyable and makes me feel more present in the moment so i'm not spending every season wishing i was in another season and it's been really liberating for me and there you have it. Those are my tips for looking chic in the winter. I hope this was helpful and it gave you some tips to incorporate into your own wardrobe. I would love to know in the comments down below what kind of winter weather you experience and how you navigate it. And please definitely let us know in the comments down below if you are from a very warm climate, what you do in the winter. It's been so long since I lived in Florida that I'm a little out of touch and it's a request that I get a lot. So I would love to have some of that left in the comments down below. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.